In this video, we're going to be talking about Jira product discovery. Now, if you've never heard of Jira product discovery or JPD, as I'm going to call it from this point forward, you are going to want to pay attention to this video because Jira product discovery is one of Atlassian's newest products. And it's a really, really interesting product that I think you and your team should really start considering or at least using. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And don't forget to check out the links down below so you can find all the different ways to support the channel. I got merch, I got courses, and of course, I got sponsors, so go try out their apps. Now, let's talk about what Jura Product Discovery is. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. Let's start off by looking at Atlassian's website, and then we're gonna go into Jira Product Discovery, and I'm gonna highlight some of the cool things, but make sure you are subscribed because we are gonna be dropping a variety of Jira Product Discovery videos over the next few months, so you're not gonna wanna miss out on any of those videos. But let's take a look at Atlassian's marketing material first. So what exactly is Jira Product Discovery? So if I had to summarize this in a one sentence, one worded answer, it's basically aha, inside of Jira. It is Atlassian's response to product owners' needs, product managers' needs for a tool that allows them to take ideas and then actually iron out, flesh out the ideas, do all the brainstorming, do all the validation before that idea becomes epics or is committed work that you do inside of Jira software. So Jira product discovery is really like a proving ground, if you will, where teams now have the appropriate tool to brainstorm, to come up with everybody's ideas, all the cool things that everybody wants to work on, but have a place where you can now explore that idea. You can add some information, some insights, some, some actual facts and data to help build the case for should you and your company actually invest calories, money, effort into this particular idea. So if I had to summarize, again, Jira Product Discovery in a nutshell, it's the tool that's gonna let your teams take that idea, flesh out some details, and then when it's ready, allow you to push it into Jira, so then, then your team can deliver on those ideas, and these ideas are now no longer just wishful thinking, they have some facts and data behind them. I wanted to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. Keep your customers in the loop with fantastic looking release notes created straight from your Jira tickets. Stop wasting time manually compiling a list of changes. Issues related to a release will automatically appear in your staging area. Focus on telling engaging stories for your headline features while the AI copywriter takes care of the rest. Publish amazing looking announcements with a single click to your website, in-app widget, or Confluence. Make sure you click on the link in the description down below to start your free trial. So let's take a look at what Jira Product Discovery looks like and how you and your team can benefit, okay? So as I mentioned, everything here works off of ideas. You're going to have a, a different user interface. And one of the first things you'll notice is that Jira Product Discovery is way more colorful. There's a whole lot more color to Jira Product Discovery and you have a lot more customization here. As you can see, you get your summary. This is, if you're used to Jira, then you, you're definitely used to summaries. But now you can incorporate any of your goals. Now these goals are completely customizable to you and your liking. You can put in weighted scores here for your priority or whatever else you want. This is totally up to you, but these numbers can actually have weights and you can do a lot of mathematics with them. As you can see, there's an FX here for a function. So you can score these using other values, which I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna be showing you in future videos. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button now. We also have these more like a rating type of thing where you can, from one to five, give numbers and your team can help all contribute to these numbers. And then you can have, again, a lot more mathematics. And so you also have a bunch of different views, which we'll talk about in a second. So you don't just have to look at it from an all ideas perspective. I'm going to show you some of the different views that are available when we jump into JPD. Now, if you've ever used Jira before, this is going to look and feel just like Jira, where it looks basically like a story, except all the content that you're capturing is very specific to this idea. And so you can add a little bit more structure to chaos because everybody knows that when you're at the beginning of an idea, when you're at the exploration, things are a little bit less structured. Jira software has these strong fundamentals in Agile and in Scrum, and there's a lot of rigor and rules and detail that goes into that part of a software delivery lifecycle. But when you're coming up with those ideas, when you're validating those ideas, when you're kind of just doing that pie in the sky, wishful thinking type of phase, 
you don't have as much opportunities. There's tools like AHA, which again, is probably the number one competitor to your product discovery. And up until now, Atlassian hasn't really had an answer as to why teams should be in Jira product discovery over AHA. And I think this is a really good answer that Atlassian has brought in and one that you should definitely be considering if you are specifically a user of AHA. You get these other views like I was mentioning, right? So you get like a roadmap view, although I don't really like this view, but it's kind of an interesting view to see here. You can bridge the gap with Jira. So one of the cool things, probably one of the best features about this is once this idea has been validated and once it has the sufficient facts and data to justify that this is idea is something we actually want to work on. Then you create these delivery tickets, which again, I'm going to show you in future videos, but you create these delivery tickets that allow you to essentially link this idea to your epics one to many. And then all those epics can be decomposed to all your stories and your subtasks. And you see the entire hierarchy, you see the entire breakdown and what they call delivery issues. And most importantly, you start to see that delivery progress. So you get this really cool holistic view of this idea. Once it's actually being implemented by your delivery or technical teams, then you get to see how it's trending. How is it doing? How close are we to actually delivering this particular story? So really, really cool and neat user interface that you just simply don't get inside of Jira software. Now they break it down to four different ways for how it works. You capture ideas and insights and there's plugins and these really cool ways to essentially let your team go do some research and reconnaissance where if you're on the internet, maybe you see a competitor's website and you're like, our app needs to be able to do that. Or we want our app to do this cool thing where well, you can capture all those in form of insights. It's like a plugin that you put on your browser and it just naturally just pulls in those clips into your idea so that your team can reference it. You can prioritize all your work. So just like Jira software, it has ranking and prioritization. And so you can basically start putting in some facts and data as to how important is this particular idea, how much effort is it going to take, right? So you can start measuring your impact versus your effort. You can engage. So what's really cool about this is that you get a couple of different licenses and the Jira product discovery model is closer to Jira service management in that anybody in your company can have an idea and contribute. And so they can all submit their idea. So it's free. There's no license required for that. I mean, there is a license, but it's a free license but anybody in your company is going to be able to submit those ideas and only the people like your product managers or your product owners, only they're going to require an actual license where they're going to then move and actually work out the details. So it's an interesting product. It's a little bit cheaper, I think than like aha, but it's still going to be an added cost. So that's one thing that I want to make sure. So that is clear to you is that Jira software is one set of licenses, Jira service management is a different set of licenses, and Jira product discovery is going to be a different set of licenses yet again. And so now you're talking with about a few different licenses in your Atlassian ecosystem. But I still think that it's like, we'll look at a pricing here in a second, but I think the pricing is going to be just a little bit more affordable than like if you were doing AHA. I want to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. Keep your customers in the loop with fantastic looking release notes created straight from your Jira tickets. Stop wasting time manually compiling a list of changes. Issues related to a release will automatically appear in your staging area. Focus on telling engaging stories for your headline features while the AI copywriter takes care of the rest. Publish amazing looking announcements with a single click to your website, in-app widget, or Confluence. Make sure you click on the link in the description down below to start your free trial. And then the final thing here is your connect. We kind of talked about this already. So you have this delivery tab where you create a delivery ticket, which is essentially your epic. Although it is very flexible. If you have like initiatives or themes or other issue types, it'll, it'll respect your hierarchy. And so we will start off at the top and then kind of do your decomposition down and down and down. And it will show them all to you here. And it shows you the overall delivery progress with your, again, we are going to be going deeper into all these functionalities, all these features. This video is more like a teaser of what your product discovery is to hopefully get you hyped up enough to want to go try it out. And again, make sure you subscribe so you get all the different videos where I'm going to be breaking down how to actually use your product discovery in the future. And so the last thing that we're going to look at here is the pricing. So as I mentioned, pricing is a little bit different. There is a free version for up to three creators and again, unlimited collaborators, or if you have more than three creators and you want to treat these creators as your like product managers. So if you have more than three creators, then they're $10 a month per creator. And you can kind of see what you get here. It is a tool that literally just got out of beta. And so Atlassian is still actively developing on this tool and they're adding new functionality as we speak. 
And so expect Jira Product Discovery to probably not be as feature rich as Jira software, but it is a really cool tool that Atlassian is investing a lot. So you have your workflows like you do in Jira software, you have automations that work like the ones in Jira software, you have project roles, and yeah, it's, it's just a really cool and interesting tool. And let me just, I've been teasing you long enough, let's take a second here to just go and look at it inside of the Jira user interface. I'll walk you through a couple of the screens and then we're gonna come back in future videos again to go deeper into actual how-tos on how to actually use this tool effectively. Cause I've been using it for about a year now. I've been using it throughout the beta period and it's a really, really cool product, right? Maybe closer to nine months that I've been using it, but it's a really cool product and I think it's one that you and your company, if you're not using it, you're definitely missing out. To create a project, you're gonna come over to the projects and when you hit create a project, you will have this product management section and you'll be able to create a Jira product discovery. Now I already have one, so I'm just gonna jump into my Jira product discovery project. I'm simply gonna search for it here. And this is my demo JPD project. Now, as you can see from the screenshots, it basically looks and feels a lot like Jira. It's gonna be sharing that same DNA. So it's really, really easy. There's no major giant learning curve here because if you've been using Jira software, then you're gonna be very familiar and know how to jump into this tool right away. You have the ability to create an idea. So unlike having to hit the create button to look up all the fields and all that information, it's very linear, very inline. So this is more in line with, with uh, Atlassian's like more modern UI where you can just very quickly type in an idea here, make a YouTube video, subscribe, and then I'm gonna hit enter. This idea now becomes a reality, and now we can essentially uh, start filling it out, right? So we can add comments, we can add insights, and over here on the right, you see that plugin where you can create insights to bring qualitative and quantitative data points such as quotes, images, conversations, from an idea or mobile apps straight into this app here. Uh, we can add goals, so you can predefine what these are all like, and you can see here that you can very easily edit the field, add more options, so it's a very much more fluid tool. It doesn't require so many inputs from your Jira admin, though this is probably still a good idea to let your Jira admin manage all this stuff, but it's just a lot quicker. It's a lot more customizable, and unlike your Jira software where like you can get into a lot of trouble if you try to customize on your own, Jira product discovery is gonna be a lot more user-friendly from that respect. We have our roadmaps, which again, we'll go into deeper dives in future videos. Our statuses, so these statuses are your workflow. You can customize all these as well. You still have your traditional like assignees, you can do marketing, and then you can add anything you want by just simply clicking this plus button here, and you can add impact scores, designs, check boxes. I can click on this create new field so you can see all the different types of fields that you can create. And as you can see, they're drastically different than Jira software. You can do custom formulas, you can let people vote, you can do sliders, short text, you can do reactions, ratings, tag people, numbers. So a lot of what we're used to from Jira software, but also some other cool new features like these reactions and stuff, right? These are gonna be a little bit more fun where your team can be a little bit more creative with them. That's that main all ideas view, but you get these out of the box views here that let you kind of just filter things down a little bit more. You can do your impact versus effort, your roadmap, and again, all this customizable to whatever you want. You have your plan, so you can kind of look at it from a quarter to quarter perspective. And then you have your delivery, right? So this is gonna focus here on your delivery progress here, which is once you connect it to your delivery um, issues in Jura, you'll be able to expand all this and be able to see all the epics, all the stories, and any subtasks that you have available. You'll see that delivery progress. And then we have other examples that they give you, but you can essentially create your own custom views for whatever you want. And so this UI is very, very customizable as well. And that's pretty much it. You get your project settings. And then again, we're gonna be talking about all these in greater detail in future videos. I wanted to take a quick second to tell you about today's sponsor. Keep your customers in the loop with fantastic looking release notes created straight from your Jira tickets. Stop wasting time manually compiling a list of changes. Issues related to a release will automatically appear in your staging area. Focus on telling engaging stories for your headline features while the AI copywriter takes care of the rest. Publish amazing looking announcements with a single click to your website, in-app widget, or Confluence. Make sure you click on the link in the description down below to start your free trial. So that's an overview of Jira product discovery. So if you're using AHA, or you're just a product manager or product owner, and you, you're looking for a tool, and Jira's not quite right, right? Because what I see a lot of teams do is they try to do all the grooming, they try to do all the refinement of 
figuring out is this idea even worth pursuing? They try to do all that in Jira software, but it's really not designed for that, right? Jira software is a tactical tool. It's a tool that's designed to help your teams get stuff done. But when you're still in the idea phase, when you're still noodling on like, is this even worth pursuing? This is gonna be the tool that you're gonna to wanna to use because it's just gonna be designed with that in mind and it's gonna do it really, really well. So again, make sure you're subscribed to this channel because I am gonna be dropping tutorials on how to use Jira Product Discovery in much more detail in the future. And so you're not gonna to wanna to miss out on any of those. Make sure you smash that like button to let me know that you actually enjoy these kind of videos. This is a different type of product, right? We usually make like Jira software, Confluence JSM videos, but Jira Product Discovery is a new tool that we're gonna be folding into the mix here. And so let me know by voting here with your like button if this is the kind of video that you're interested in. Is there even a demand for Jira Product Discovery videos? Will you let me know? And then finally, don't forget to check out the links down below in the description as you will find my merch store, you will find my paid courses, and then you will find all the different ways that you can help support the channel, specifically the links from our sponsors. So make sure you give them some love and I'll see you in the next one. So fight, fight.